What's up everyone, it's me Zero. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the basics of how to make a um, Minecraft plugin. Um, if this does well, then I will carry on doing this and I'll show you guys how to do more stuff on Minecraft plugins and yeah. So anyways, let's get started. So first you're gonna install this um, software here, it's called uh, uh, Intelli Intel J, I can't even say it, but yeah, install this, it'll be in the description. Once you have installed it, you're going to be presented to this page um also guys i recommend um you already have a server otherwise you won't be able to use the plugin so i've got a paper server here so just make sure you set up a paper server if you don't know how to set up a paper server i'll just link um, uh, a video down in the description how to uh, make a paper server now once you have made uh, uh you've got your server and you've got this open you should be on this screen here you're going to see over here it says plugins going to click plugins and then you're just going to type up minecraft and you're going to see minecraft development just make sure you install this and once you have installed this you'll be able to create a speaker plugin so how we do this is we go into projects we go new project and then once we click that it's going to have uh, these generators down here and we're going to have a minecraft one as you see and you're going to have a list of all these plugins right here what we're going to do is just click the paper plugin no not the paper one the spigot plugin and then we're going to go next and then we're going to put a group ID. So this can be, this can be anything you want. So we're just going to call it, uh, let's just call it my first YouTube plugin. And then we can just copy that, paste that in there. You can just put the same artifact ID. Just um, make sure it's really easy to remember. But yeah, and then as you see here, it fills it out for you. Just click next, uh, project name um, and project location. So we're just going to call it um, tutorial. And then we're just going to save this into a folder. So I'm going to save this into my, um, we're just going to save it into my D drive just for now. So yeah, but once you have done that and saved it, you can put it, save it wherever you want. You're just going to click create and it says enter a module name. All right, let me just do that. So it creates the folder in the D drive. Now click create. Directly doesn't exist. Basically it's going to create a folder for me and put it inside here. So just click create. Once it's created, it's going to load up your project. As you see here, we've got void enable and void disable. We don't actually need this one, so you can just delete that as it's not that important. But all we need is this one right here. And yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the left here where it says your YouTube spigot tutorial. That's the folder name. And we're going to open it. We're going to go into source, into main, into Java. And then we're going to be into the file here. So let's just tidy it up a bit. Let's just move this over so we can uh, easily see it. Now we've got public void enable. So there's not much we can do here right now, but what we can do is test and see if our plugin will work on our server. And um, you can easily do this by just doing a uh, system. All right, we can just do system um, dot out uh, dot print line, and we can just do server is running. And now once we have done this, um, go to this cog right here where it says um id and project settings open this up then we're going to go into project structure and then we're going to head over to artifacts and then, we're, then you're going to click this plus thing here and then you're going to click jar and go for a model with the dependencies and then just click ok you do not need to fill out anything here now you're going to have um your youtube jar here and you're also going to have um yeah well yeah so what you're going to do is just apply and then we're also going to add a, um, a directory where we save our plugin. Okay, where it says output directory, it's going to save it in our in our folder, which is not our server. So it's going to save us in like one of these folders here. So we're going to have to change the location. We do this by just clicking on the folder. We go to our, where our server is. So my server is in my directory. So I'm going to go to Minecraft server, Minecraft server YouTube. And then I've got my plugins folder here and I'm just going to save it there. Click apply. Once you have done that, everything should be sorted. All this should be fine. And then we're just going to click OK. Now, if we quickly click Build, Build Artifacts, and then Build it, it's going to say Build, Build, Build. And then if we open up our plugins, it's going to have YouTube Spigot Tutorial in here. And now if we run our server, it's going to say your server is running. If we, uh, It can take a little bit to run, what well, mine likes to do. So just click Enter if it as you can see, it says my first plugin um, server is running. So we know the plugin works. And if we do PL, 
Oh, if we do PL, it's going to say it will show your plugins. And as you see here, it's green. If it's red, then there's something wrong with your plugin. But it's green on here. So we are Gucci. Now let's create. Now let's um let's create our first actual um in-game uh well interaction. So what we're going to do is when you place or when you place uh, down the torch it will um give you a message okay so what we're gonna do is go to our folder here the, the basically the one with a long fucking description we're gonna right click it we're gonna do java class and we're just gonna call this hello world as you know you've got to start hello world for everything we're going to implement uh, a listener as we're going to be leaving the listeners and then we're going to do an event handler so event handler and we're going to do public void and we're going to do an on place block so this can be whatever you want but i recommend just um keeping it nice and simple on block place and then we're going to use a block place event so block place so you've got a block block break event got block uh break uh place event you've also got um you got a lot of other events which I can't remember the names. <laughs> oh yeah, you got players uh, join event, uh, toggle fly event, toggle uh, sprint event. So you can do something if you sprint when you join, and so you just got a bunch of stuff which you can go through and have fun with once you know what you're doing. So we're gonna do a block break event, and we're just gonna call this event. And then um... by the way, guys, if you're not familiar with Java or programming in general, I recommend you just know the basics of um of programming and this should be you should get a better understanding and how to actually do stuff on your own anyways we're going to do material um by the way if you if you do material just make sure you click enter or select it so it imports this if it doesn't just copy mine and import or dot bucket dot material and you got the material we're going to call this type and then we're going to do event dot get block so we're going to get the block and then we're going to get the type and then we're going to do an if statement so if type is equal to material and this is the font part so if we do material dot you get every block in minecraft or every um item so we're going to be using a torch so if torch and then we're going to do basically if the material type is equal to torch then we're going to do player and we're just going to call it player is it equal to event we're going to get the player and then um we're going to do player dot send message and we're going to send message send message hello world and that's it so now we're going to go to my first plugin and we need to bring over the the file so we do this pretty much by doing it's kind of like um cogs in discord you know so basically what we're going to do is um pretty easy we're going to do we're just going to do this because let's keep it organized in case i do other stuff like commands and stuff so we're just going to do listeners and we're going to do bucket dot get plugin manager dot register events make sure it's events not event and then we're going to do new and we're going to get the file name so ever what this is called which is hello world and we're going to go out of the brackets and we're going to do a comma and then this and then that is all you have to do so it keeps it nice and tidy you can write all this in here but it just create a massive mess so it's better to make separate folders uh, or files i mean and um keep it separate and now if we just do build uh build build artifact and we rebuild it it's going to um rebuild the file now we can run it and so now if we load up minecraft we can test if it works okay guys i'm in window mode just to make it a little bit more on easier to see what i'm doing as you see i'm in the server for some reason i've got 60 pool chops so i do not know why but um, I'm going to get myself OP, so OP Cvo SD, because we're going to, um, oh, I'm already operating, because we are going to go into creative to get our torches. So if we get our torches, so if we just do torch and we get our torch. Now, every time we place the torch, it will say hello world. Let me just get a bit bigger for you. So if we every time we play it, as you can see, it says hello world and it works. So basically place event, you place a block and it says hello world. So we could just do this all day. And um, yeah, we can, in next video, if you want me to, I can tell you how to place a block and it changes the block and I'll tell you how to do commands 
and then I'll tell you how to do event, a better event, other events, and then tasks. What a task is is where, but basically something repeats over time. So yeah.